everyone, it's Chris and Tango again, and today we're going to give you some tips on how to play Pokemon Go more safely. First of all, you need a hat. It doesn't need to be quite as big as this safari hat, but um, it does need to block your eyes and face from the sun, and you need to wear sunscreen so you don't get sunburned like Philip DeFranco did. Anyways, um, number two, you need to wear mosquito repellent. Um, I highly recommend All Natural, uh, DEET Free. Uh, it can be any brand, just as long as it doesn't have DEET, the chemical in it. Actually, Kroger has a pretty big variety of All Natural um, mosquito repellents right next to its natural organic section, and they're at pretty good prices. Also, Costco has a bundle pack um, for multiple bottles of mosquito repellent. It's all 100% organic and DEET free, which is amazing. Um, Costco has it at pretty good prices. Number three, you need to wear decent closed toe shoes. Um, preferably hiking boots or maybe even small boots, but the important thing is that if you're walking the grass or walking the woods, um, you need to wear good sturdy shoes so you don't run into a real life Atkins. Like, that would be really dangerous. Number four, if you're playing at night, you should wear some type of um, reflective material. This little kid was selling Pokeballs that were cut out of reflective material. It's a reflective material that glows when strong light hits it. So if there's any headlights, any cars that might potentially hit you, they'll see you before they hit you. And also, please stay out of the streets. Please stay out of the roads. Don't play on the roads. Like, if there's a Pokemon nearby, just stand on the grass. See, there's grass right here. You can walk and find the Pokemon right here. You do not need to go into the road. Number five, carry some pepper spray. I know it might seem a little bit paranoid, but in Minnesota, um, a bunch of kids were actually robbed by a bunch of teens at gunpoint. The robbers hid by the Pokestops, and when they saw people playing the game, they actually robbed them and stole their phones. This is the Spitfire model by Saber Red, one of the best pepper spray brands. As you can see, as you can see, it's very discreet. It fits on my keychain and it fits in the palm of your hand. As you can see, it's very easy to use. As you can see, it's very easy to use. You just press that button and it sprays. But seriously, guys, all joking aside, pepper spray can actually save your life. Um, I mean, if somebody's robbing you at knife point, if somebody is just, I mean, even if they have a gun, pepper spray can actually save your life. You might be able to get away, but by all means, please, please be cautious. Um, if they do have a gun, use your best judgment. I'm not saying that pepper spray will necessarily be the answer, but it might save your life in a scary situation, not just with Pokemon Go, but anywhere. If you're in a parking garage, if you are walking your car, always carry pepper spray, please. I carry mine on a lanyard, so it's really easy and convenient. Number six, um, this isn't an item, but please always use caution when you're playing Pokemon Go. Don't play when you're driving. Don't play when you're in the street. Just please be mindful, please be cautious. And more on mindfulness, in 2015, more people actually died from selfies than shark attacks. Isn't that crazy? The only time you should play Pokemon Go in the car is if you're at a red light um, or in a parking lot. Seriously, um, do not play while the car is in motion. But seriously, no Pokemon is worth your life. One guy actually crashed into a tree while he was playing Pokemon Go and he completely totals his car. That EV could have waited and now he's going to spend thousands of dollars trying to get it repaired. And he might even face charges for texting while driving. Yes, because playing a game like Pokemon Go technically counts as texting while driving. We live in a very distracted world, so we have to be twice as mindful these days. Also, uh, this is the mosquito repellent that I use. Um, I got it from Home Depot, it was about $6. It's completely natural. Not only is it DEET free and super affordable, it, um, it's truly all natural. The main ingredients are soybean oil, peppermint and rosemary, and geranium oil. Yes, that's right, peppermint and rosemary actually naturally repel mosquitoes. Isn't that crazy, Tango? But seriously, Swamp Gator is an amazing brand. It's affordable and it smells really good too. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it for today, guys. We hope you guys liked our Pokemon Go tips and we hope you guys stay safe and mindful while playing. Right, Tango? They should stay mindful and safe. Oh, hey! Can you say bye, Tango? Say bye. Good luck playing Pokemon Go, guys. Please stay safe. Oh, hey, oh, oh. I'm being attacked by an Articuno. Oh, oh. Anyways, I gotta go. Um, I'm actually going to go out to the grocery store and I'm going to catch some Pokemon at the mall too. So I will be out and Tango will be at home thinking about what a bad boy he is.